I'm Jackson Pierce and I'm either a superhero or a supervillain. Choose one. I'll wait. The answer is, I'm not going to tell you. Not just because I like to maintain my mystique, but because the mystery is kind of the point of this video, so yeah. See, there's no way for you to know with absolute certainty if I'm a hero or a villain unless I tell you. And likewise, there's no way for me to know if you're going to interpret me as a hero or a villain. This is because you and I are distinctly different people. We see the world in different ways. I see the world based on my own history and experiences and viewpoints, and you see the world based on your own history and experiences and viewpoints. Neither one of us is necessarily viewing the world incorrectly, but we inevitably will view it differently. Books are the same way. When I write a book, I write it with everything that I am as a person. And when you read a book, you read it with everything that you are as a person. And even if we have very similar viewpoints, there will be some slight differences in the way we interpret the text. For example, I can write a review that says Hermione Granger is a strong, independent woman. She is driven, academically successful, quick on her feet, not to mention courageous. She is confident in her knowledge and not afraid to tell people when they're incorrect, be it morally or factually. And those statements would be true, but I could also write a review that says Hermione Granger plays second fiddle to two male characters. Yes, yeah, she has brains, but she uses them to advance the agendas of those male characters instead of fulfilling her own needs. Out of vanity, she changes her appearance in multiple books, and she allows herself to be emotionally abused by her friends in the final book. And those statements would also be true. Neither of you would necessarily be wrong, and neither of you would necessarily be right, and it's impossible for us to know what J.K. Rowling intended because we are not, in fact, J.K. Rowling. Although I do suspect J.K. Rowling wears a superhero mask from time to time. And likewise, it's impossible for J.K. Rowling to know how you, as a reader, are going to interpret a book. After all, if your life experiences lead you to believe that Hermione is secretly a lizard person, who is she to argue? She doesn't know your life. She doesn't know what you've gone through. She doesn't know why you would see lizard people and wizards. She doesn't know these things. You can certainly have discussion and debate about Hermione's lizard personness, but you can't categorically say she is one thing or she is another. That's kind of the wonderful thing about books, is they can be many different things to many different people. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and by the way, tonight is live show night, and on the topic of Hermione, we'll actually be discussing heroines in the live show, so you should come. It'll be great. Link is in the little thing, wherever it is on your screen right now. Yeah.